Merry Christmas, everyone, and well, it feels like Christmas to me because as of this recording, Pokemon Sword and Shield are just like a hair's breadth away, it feels like. I already got mine on pre-order and I'm super excited. And, you know, before you say anything, that yes, that is knowing all the controversies and whatnot, I don't want to get into that just because, well, everyone's already going to talk about it, both on the extremely positive side and extremely negative side, so I'm going to just stick out of that. For now, I just want to kind of discuss, you know, basic things about Pokemon that I love. I uh, grew up with Pokemon Red, like, that was the first Pokemon game I ever got. Yes, I'm old, excuse me, um, but, uh, you know, I just remember coming home, grabbing my Game Boy Pocket, yeah, Game Boy Pocket, with the, uh, I got the red color, and then I got Pokemon Red, I put it in, and I would just play hours and hours as much as possible. And this was before lighted screens were a thing, so I would have to find, like, either a lamp or some sort of source of light, and then, like, you know, hover around it like a moth to a flame, you know, for my Dark Souls fans out there. Um, fans. And, uh, yeah, I would just play it, and, you know, I was a kid at the time, so my optimal strategy was I got my Blastoise up to level 100, and I blew everyone up. It was amazing. And, you know, it's probably a story you've heard over and over again, but it was one of my favorite experiences as a kid. You know, traveling around Kanto, going to the gyms, fighting, and trying to step toe-to-toe -to -toe with the gym leaders in Elite Four. It, it was just so great. And, you know, just ever since then, I've been enamored with Pokemon. Uh, I actually, you know, my first experience with Pokemon Gold and Silver at the time was not, you know, when it released, but I had a friend at the time who had a copy of the Japanese release early. And I was just like so just mind boggled with it. And he was playing it on the bus. And I remember once, you know, I, I was a little bit sneaky. He kind of got up and do something. I pulled out his Game Boy and I played like a tiny bit of it. I didn't do anything and I immediately uh, turned it off so I didn't save anything. But I just wanted to have that little taste, you know, of Pokemon Gold and Silver. But yeah, and uh, so there was a time that uh, I didn't, you know, keep playing Pokemon. Like, I missed all Black and White and Black and White 2 and all that, and X and Y. And the game that I got before was Pokemon Moon. And I haven't played Omega Moon or uh, Sun. So, yeah, I haven't been as consistent on that front. So, I'm actually coming into this with, you know, great excitement, Sword and Shield. And it looks great to me. It looks great, and... You know, the things that people complain about, you know, there's varying levels of legitimacy, but for me personally, it doesn't bother me at all. It really doesn't. I'm, you know, I feel like I'm going to be very happy, you know, with this experience as a whole. And, uh, you know, let's get to the picture, shall we? I, it probably won't shock you, I'm going to choose Score Bunny as my f a starter. Because ever since the first trailer dropped and we got to see him, Oh, he just enamored me. He was so cute, so spunky. And, uh, you know, small spoilers for anyone that, uh, well, if you're watching this video, of course it's going to be a spoiler because Cinderace is right there in the freaking picture. But, yeah, you know, a lot of people were complaining about Cinderace, just like, uh, oh, that doesn't look like a fully evolved Pokemon. Oh, that's like middle evolution and whatnot. And I... Honestly think that Cinderace is one of the better looking Pokemon I've seen in a long time. I love his design. You know, he just has everything that I personally like. You know, he's kind of got that cool headstrong feel about him, but he's designed like a soccer player, football for uh, non-American people. And uh, I don't know, there's something in the way he looks, especially his face, as you notice, like uh, his face and the face of my characters usually are a little bit similar, but it just kind of clicks all my boxes for me, you know. And uh, thus, I'm really excited to get Cinderace in the game. And I feel that as time goes on, people will warm up to these stars like everyone else, because, you know, yeah, you heard it. Uh, the stars don't look that great this time. It's just like, give it, give it like a year or something. Everyone will be, 
you know, on the Sobble, Grookey, Score Bunny train, and they'll love them just like any other starter. I guarantee you that. Um, but, uh, yeah. And I'm gonna, you know... I'm just gonna see what it has for me. And, you know, I'm gonna choose a female trainer because I need Noelle in my life to be in that cute little hat with the sweater or whatever options they have. And, uh, yeah, let's see. As for... Oh, I don't even know what my, uh, you know, team's gonna be. I just... I'm just gonna go out there and look and find what I, find what I can. Um, I did choose Pokemon Shield, you know, be, for, for one reason. For one reason. And that's... Galarian Ponyta. Oh, Galarian Ponyta is so cute. You know, with the, you know, multicolor fur and, you know, that cute little prancing around. And I'm a bit of a brony myself, so it's just like, oh, it's a, it's Starlight Glimmer in Pokemon form. And, <laughs> uh, yeah, I know, I know. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to deny that that's my feelings towards it. And then I got to see the Galarian Rapidash, and, uh, you know, it's just two wings shy of a Celestia, if you ask me, so I'm really excited about that. Anyways, uh, the video is wrapping up, so I just wanted to say I hope that you're as excited for Pokemon Sword and Shield as I am, and I hope to see you out in the wilds of Galar. Uh, I want to give a shout out to my Patreon supporters out there. I love you all, and, uh, yeah, with that... Have a great rest of your day, and Merry Christmas.